Welcome to Wacom Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how to download and save all the emails in your Gmail account. Let's get straight into it. To back up your email data from Gmail, you need to visit the Google Takeout page. Make sure you're logged into your Google account. See the web address for this page on screen and in the description below. The Takeout page allows you to download copies of your information from any of the Google products, but in this guide we'll focus on Gmail. Looking at the page, by default, all Google products are selected for export. We only want to download a copy of Gmail emails, however, so I'm going to choose to deselect all products and then first scroll down to the Gmail product selection page. As you can see, there are a lot of Google products to get through, but eventually we'll reach the mail section. Let's select the checkbox to indicate that we want to download a copy of our emails. I'll take a moment just to pause on the mail formats because this is important if you want to re-import these emails back into Gmail. If we click on the multiple formats link, it opens a box that confirms that emails will be exported in the mbox mail format. By default, all mail data is included in an export of your email information. If you want to specify which emails to export, you can choose which folders or labels to save by clicking on this link. This opens up a list of Gmail labels. To choose a specific group of these folders, uncheck the Include All Messages in Mail checkbox, and then choose the specific folders you want to add to your export. Once you're happy with that selection, click the OK button, and you can see confirmation that a number of labels have now been selected. So now that we've chosen the data we want to export, we need to confirm how we want to access this data. If I scroll to the bottom of this page, let's click the Next Step button to do that. The first option to choose is how you want to deliver the export of your mail data. If we click on the drop down, you'll see we have a number of options. If your account has passed its 15 gigabyte storage limit, then I'd recommend you don't request a download link via Gmail, unless you have an alternative Gmail email address or to add the export to your Google Drive. Instead, look at exporting to one of the other storage options shown. I'm going to click on the email link option, however, as I can still receive emails. In this next section, we can choose whether we want to run a one-off export of the data, or whether we want to schedule a regular backup to run every two months of the next year. I want to run the backup today, so I'm going to choose the single export. The last two options ask you to specify the file type and split size for the export. Both file types shown are compressed files that reduce the size of the exported data, so it takes up less space. I'll keep this export as a more recognized .zip file. As part of the export, any larger files will be split into smaller files. If you want to limit how much this happens, then simply increase the threshold at which files should be split. Bear in mind, however, that if you change the split size to larger than 2 gigabytes, then older operating systems may have issues extracting the mail data from the zipped file. To be safe, I'm going to keep the split size at 2 gigabytes. To create the data export, click on the Create Export button. Depending on the number of emails you have in Gmail, it can take a little while to create the export. When the export is available, you will be sent an email in Gmail to confirm. Once that email is received, you can directly download the backup of your emails from Gmail to your computer. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks so much for watching.